BlackBerry Priv review, BlackBerry may win you back with Android. It finally happened, a modern-looking BlackBerry with a modern operating system. I don't know anyone who owns a BlackBerry anymore. Not a single person. Had BlackBerry's new Priv been released five years ago, things could be different. I don't want. You don't want. Obviously bankers, lawyers and salespeople would have them. Maybe even the guy who sold me tomato soup for lunch. The millions of us who reluctantly let go of our real keyboards for the promise of a better life on an iPhone or Samsung Galaxy wouldn't have hesitated about buying an Android BlackBerry. Unlike BlackBerry's own operating system, it would have given us access to all the latest and greatest apps, plus Google's indispensable services. Instead, BlackBerry's story now reads like a Shakespearean tragedy. The once dominant smartphone maker doesn't even hold 1% of the worldwide market now, according to IDC. But maybe, just maybe, it isn't too late for BlackBerry. The Priv, which starts shipping on Friday and is available at at and and blackberry.com, isn't yet another poorly timed misstep. As Samsung, LG and other Android titans focus on making phones ever so slightly thinner, faster and better at taking photos, the Priv slide-out physical keyboard, long battery life and focus on privacy, hence the dumb name, stand apart from those. It even challenges Apple's ruling iPhone. A few performance issues aside, the Priv is the first BlackBerry in years that I have loved using, and that I can recommend. Key, S, to come back. The best thing about the Priv may be that it doesn't look like a traditional BlackBerry, nor a deformed one, either. Sorry, BlackBerry Passport fans. Instead it blends the curves of Samsung's Galaxy S6 Edge with the glossy black bordering of the iPhone 6 to make a wholly unique device that's a pleasure to hold and look at. Let's be real, though. If you're eyeing this phone, you're after its secret weapon, a 4.0 physical keyboard that slides out firmly from under the screen, trundle bed style. Typing on real keys with a fabled sized 5.4 inch screen towering over them is odd at first, but once I found my acrobatic balance, my fingers were scurrying around at up to 60 words per minute. That's about 20% faster than I type on my iPhone, though still 15% slower than on the BlackBerry Classic's larger, wider, backlit keyboard. The sculpted plastic keys were great when I had to write a lengthy email and make edits to a story. The keyboard also doubles as a touch-sensitive trackpad, allowing you to move the cursor. But even I, a former physical keyboard addict, ended up using the on-screen keyboard most of the time. It's more convenient and easier to use one-handed. Our broad on-screen keyboards with smart predictive text have rendered BlackBerry's classic keyboard the smartphone equivalent of a colonial butter churn. The keyboard may seem like a historical artifact, but the rest of the phone is modern. The bright, crisp, 2560x1440 pixel old display competes with Samsung, Apple or LG's displays. The 18-megapixel camera takes good shots, though not as good as the Nexus 6Ps in low light. And in my testing, the big battery inside outran the new Nexus phones and my iPhone 6S, I had about 10% left most nights before bed. But despite its quad-core processor and 3GB of RAM, there were spots where the phone was inexcusably slow. There's a one-second camera delay between the shutter button press and the photo being taken, taps on the screen don't always register, some apps would slow down or even stop responding. I experienced these issues on two Priv units I tested. Updates to apps and the operating system improved some of the performance glitches and bugs but more are needed. BlackBerry says it is planning another software and OS update for later this month.